In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best online whiteboard, which is available for free. It is an open source software, which is maintained by an organization in Switzerland. And this whiteboard is called OpenBoard. To get this software, you type OpenBoard in Google and press enter. And OpenBoard.ch is the website. You click on download and then you select your operating system and download the file. This is the file you will get for Windows operating system. You just double click and follow the prompt and you will be able to install OpenBoard. Once installed, you can type OpenBoard in Windows search bar and you will see this icon. You click on that and software will start. But before I start this OpenBoard tutorial and show you some of the features of this software, if this is your first time, my name is Tahir and I make videos about online teaching and how you can create online courses. So if this is something of interest for you, then please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. I have made many videos about the comparison of online whiteboards, but because most of us, we are inclined towards using US based products. I was not aware of this open board until recently, but when I used this whiteboard, in my opinion, this is the best whiteboard available. It has tons of features and I think that this open board software has the maximum features available. The other whiteboard, which uh, might be a little bit better would be Active Inspire. I have a separate video about Active Inspire. But a lot of my subscribers found problems. They could not find some of the math tools like set square or compass tools. And those tools were not available in the free version. But this open board is completely free. Everything is free here. And not only that this whiteboard has a lot of features. This is extremely easy to use. And there could be many ways you can use this whiteboard. And I will make few more videos in which I will show you the integration of this whiteboard with other uh, learning management systems. But let's get start this tutorial. First of all, you should understand that on the right hand side where this open board is written, there is a small arrow. If you click on that, there is a button to hide your open board. If you click on that whiteboard will become hidden and you can see at the bottom of your desktop and you can click it and it will show up. So if you don't want to close it, you can hide it temporarily while you are doing some other stuff on the desktop. And in order to quit, there is a quit button at the end. And if I click on this, the application will close. So let us start from the left hand side. I have this stylus icon. If I click on that, you notice at the bottom of the page, these controls will disappear. So in this way, you can make these controls appear or disappear. Then we have five colors available and you can have more colors. And these are the colors which you can use with your pen and highlighter, uh, which are at the bottom here. This is your pen, then the eraser, then the highlighter. Then there are three thicknesses available. The large line thickness is normally used for highlighting. Then there are three eraser sizes are available. Then you can change the background of the page by clicking on this background. You can have a plain background a grid background, a lined background and all these backgrounds in dark color if you want. So let us keep the plain one, then undo redo and then you can add pages. If I click on that, this is now page number two. If I want to delete this page, simply click on this and it will ask you, you want to remove the page and I can say yes. So in this way, you can add more pages to your whiteboard. So let us draw something. I select this green color and I draw something here. Now there is erase button here. If I press and hold for two seconds, I will see these four options. I can erase annotations. I can erase items, clear the page or I can erase background as well. So let us click on erase annotations and this annotation will be erased. Now at the bottom we have pen, eraser, then highlighter, then selection tool. Then there is a magic finger. Uh, which uh, you can use in activities and we are not discussing activities in this video, but I will make a separate video where you can do some interactive activities on this whiteboard with your students. Then there is pan tool, zoom tool, a laser spot, 
and if you want to bring the attention of your students to a particular location on the whiteboard you can use this uh, laser pointer then there is a line draw tool which you can use to draw lines then there is text tool and by clicking on this f you can change the font you can change the size and you can change the style there are strike out and underline options available as well so you can write some text here you can select any color for the text let us select blue one and now it will write in blue color if you click outside the text will stay there and if you click on the text these controls will appear then you can capture the part of your screen with this tool and you can also have a virtual keyboard but the best part of this whiteboard is the ability to handle documents if i click on this documents i can see a lot of controls available here i can add folder of images i can add images i can add pages from a file i can duplicate import or export any document and above all i can create a new folder or a new document in my whiteboard application which is one of the most desirable thing we need as a teacher so it will keep you organized if you have the ability to create and arrange documents from within your whiteboard application so if i click on board i will come back to this board area then on the right hand side i have this icon and if i click on this this uh, right side tool palette will appear and there are many tools available in this area let us start from the most common one which is the shapes one so i click on shapes and now i can draw these shapes in blue color gray color and this red color as well so if i want this arrow i can click and drag and this arrow will appear here then i can click on this and i can resize this let's go back to home again if i click on this you can insert videos and this is a sample video available i can drag this video inside my whiteboard and then i can play this video so in this way if you want to show a video of yours to your students you can do that from within your open board application to remove this i click on that and click on this cross on the left top corner similarly you can insert audio files you can insert images and if you click on this application area this is the location where a large number of tools are available and you can increase or decrease the size of their icons by sliding this uh, slider at the bottom and in this area a large number of tools are available in which you have mathematics tools such as protractor set square magnifier compass in active inspire video i got a lot of complain about compass tool that compass tool is not available uh, i'm going to show you in a minute that uh, this is a fantastic compass tool you can get for free in open board application then there is another very important tool which we normally need during an online class session and that is a stopwatch because if you are performing any activity with your students you need a stopwatch and we have a beautiful stopwatch available i can click and drag it here i can set for example 2 minute and 0 second and then i can start it while my students are doing some activity i can start this stopwatch and and give them any time to perform a particular activity and for activities i recommend desmos i have a separate video on desmos uh, you can watch that video in which i explained how to do math activities during an online class let's close it and now let me show you this compass and protector tool so i click and drag this compass tool first you select the color of the pen currently it's green and when you hover near this uh, pen you will see this two sided curved arrow so this is the point where circle will be drawn and on the left hand side you have this uh, point which will be at the center of the circle so when you see this arrow you can click and drag and a circle will be drawn if you want to increase the length of the compass hover over this area and you will see this double sided straight arrow click and drag and you increase or decrease the size of the compass then again you can hover near pen click and drag and you can draw another circle to close this tool you simply hover on the left hand side click on this cross and the tool will be closed then you have protractor i can click and drag here 
Now let us draw a line and then I will show you how to measure the angle. So let us say I want to measure this angle. So I select this arrow selection tool and bring this protractor at the angle point. Now when you hover over this area you will see this violet color arrow. I click and drag and I align this one arm with one of the lines. Then I release. Now this protractor is aligned with one line and now I hover near this edge and you will see this gray knob at the outside of the protector. If I click and drag this, I can bring it to the other arm and then I can measure the angle as 56.2 degrees. Again to close the tool you simply click on this. You also have a ruler. If you hover near the edge you will see double sided straight arrow. You can increase the length or decrease and if you click and drag this white arrow you can rotate this ruler. Similarly you can try this set square. Let us check out this magnifier tool. If I click and drag this and let me write something very small. Now if I click and drag this magnifier over this area as you can see that I can magnify the text. Again you can click on this cross to close the tool. You have a calculator available, Google map available. You can put a clock if you want. So you can play around with these tools. Now let us go back to this home and let me make this a little bigger. Now one of the most powerful feature in open board application is this interactivities and this deserves a separate video but let me show you quickly. If I click on that, now these are some of the interactive tools we have. You can use this for doing some activities in the classroom. Let me quickly show you the simplest one. If I click and drag this activity, now this is a simple slate where you can ask your student, okay, what is 3 plus 0? And then for example, if I write 4 here, which is wrong, and I can submit the answer by clicking on this tick sign. So it will show me that this is wrong. And now there is a new question automatically pops up. And now if I write 5 and submit the answer, it will show me that the answer is correct. So in this way there are a lot of activities available and all these are interactive activities which you can perform in particular when you are teaching primary school students or middle school students. But you can design more activities, you can modify these as you can see that there is an edit button here available and I am sure that you understand the concept and you will be able to use them. Normally I do not make more than one video about a particular ed tech tool because there are so many educational technology tools are available that if I keep making videos about those it will take me years to make videos. But if you want me to make a video uh, please put in the comments area. So this was a quick overview of open board whiteboard application. I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up because that will help me to grow my YouTube channel because it helps in the algorithm if my subscribers or my viewers like the video. And YouTube statistics are showing me that only 12% of my viewers have subscribed to my channel. So I would highly appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time.